So the new guy added over at Joe Gibbs Racing. Tell me how all of this came about for you. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here and uh, to get ready to hop in that Xfinity car for the first time. That's going to be a little bit different than that Trans Am car. Yeah, just, you know, I've always been off camera. You actually said you went on a trip to Africa, right? I did. Uh, a couple years ago, I got to go to uh, Rwanda with them, and we were there for about two and a half weeks and got to meet a lot of the pastors there, that the work that they were doing, and that was uh, just an amazing experience to see it firsthand. Man, sure. that is so cool. Yeah, that is very cool. Great cause having on the car on board with you. You mentioned kind of the preparation level at Joe Gibbs Racing. Is there a driver you've kind of leaned on already? Ty Gibbs, I mean, he's been really good in the Xfinity Series. Is there someone specific you've talked to in a mentorship? He, he won. His first Xfinity race yeah, on a road did. course, too. I'm just you know, throwing that out. No pressure yeah, there. No, yeah. I haven't gotten to talk to him. Hopefully, before uh, I'm planning on going up there and uh, watching the Xfinity race at Charlotte this weekend with those guys and, and hopefully get to lean on them there. You, you obviously grew up watching racing as ours, and I want to go out there and try and do that for a living. Well, actually, it, um, I really, before, so I started racing when I was 18 years old, and uh, really before that, wasn't too involved in racing, actually. Oh. I'd kind of, um, I was, I thought that was my race we went to. Uh, but I really just went to that three or four times growing up, and um, but never really thought much about it. Didn't know anybody really personally in racing, and nobody in my family tried to compete in racing, and, and they kind of gave us the first steps on how to get into it, and then it's just kind of taken off from there. Jeff Gordon, probably a good driver to emulate, I would say, if you're looking to, to follow <laughs> someone's career. Connor, thanks so much for your time, and we're wishing you all the best in Portland. Yeah, thank you very much, and yeah, uh, thank you for having me. All right. We, Ooh, we mm -hmm. went down the back straightaway, and I thought we were done. So I was surprised, but uh, glad he got it back up. I, I think that's the biggest key is we, we all thought it was all over with at the point where, you know, it was. At that point of the racetrack, it's super hard for the spotter as well. You know, when they're going. The telephone game. So what is that like? Obviously, the crew chief typically is back at a command center in the shop in Charlotte. But mm -hmm. how does it work for the interim guy who still has to make some of those split-second decisions? What's that dynamic like? It, it's tough. And, and like Eric said, I, I think practice. You could see a past champion and perhaps miss from one year ago, miss the playoffs in Xfinity. And when so, it comes to the Yeah, track, so winning makes it easy. Right? Winning makes yeah. it easy. Winning solves <laughs> all problems. Always good. <laughs> of course. And when it comes to the truck series, only 10 guys are going to the playoffs. One driver who doesn't really need to worry about that is Zane Smith, already a three-time winner in the truck series. He caught up with our Josh Sims for the shift. Here is a preview preparation right or do you not even prepare any differently than you normally would for any other race I prepare for it exactly the same way okay. I put the same preparation in Fair. every single I enjoy it and I prepare the exact same way maybe taking a little more fluid honestly I'm worried your voice may not hold out for this one. <laughs> 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 He's got like that. you know I used to always say in the race car I'd say man it's really hot out here this race is so long and they say yeah you know what it's probably loud as well so just keep dealing with it and keep driving uh, but but to Eric's point from a driver's perspective to go about it no question about it so the coax 600 is one of the toughest events of the year, a crown jewel for a reason. It's challenging on driver equipment and pit crew. All the stars need to align to win. So here's a look back at how Kyle Larson did it a year ago with Radio 